What do you want? More money? To get in shape? Maybe to find true love? Hi, Dolores Lara here. Thank you for listening. Maybe getting what you want requires you to complete a daunting and tedious task like getting a degree, following a rigorous diet and exercise program, or facing a fear deep inside. Maybe you started that task. Maybe you thought about giving up. I did. And it haunts me to this very day. Following is my story. Maybe you can relate. Now, I'd like for you to think for just a minute about any daunting and tedious task that you started at any time in your life. Did you ever think about giving up? I did. And it haunts me to this very day. As Karen said, I'm a runner. You can barely see it. But that's a runner on there. I trained for my first marathon at the age of 29. Talk about a daunting and tedious task. I had participated in a marathon training program, and as the weeks rolled by, the training became more and more intense. <coughs> I discovered a new level of fatigue I had never discovered before. One day, I got so tired at work that I went straight home, fell into bed, and didn't get up again until the next morning. I think I went a little crazy, but one has to go crazy at that point in the training because life became all about running, just running. I couldn't imagine not completing that marathon, so I kept going. Then, three weeks before the actual marathon, the high point of the marathon training arrived. The big 20-mile training run. On a cool Saturday morning, much cooler than it is in this room, we stood at the starting line of that run. My friends, Arn and Pat, were going to, to run with me. We, the butterflies, fluttered wildly in my stomach as we took off at a brisk pace. Arn, Pat, and I bantered back and forth casually as the miles easily rolled by. But when we got to mile 14, I found I was really tired. I told Arn and Pat, go on ahead, and I slowed way down. I had six miles to go. When I got to the mile 17 station and stopped for water, I buckled over because my, my legs were engulfed in pain. But I couldn't stop now. I only had three miles to go. So I focused, and I put one foot in front of the other, and I just kept going. When I finally reached the mile 19 mark, I wanted to jump for joy, but instead, I tripped, and I fell smack on the sidewalk. I lay there, writhing in agony, as the tears streamed down my face, and I was clutching my knee. Finally, I forced myself to stand, but I didn't know if I had the energy to move. I, with the blood dripping down my leg, I took a step forward and my knee buckled. Oh God, just let me die. <laughs> then I heard the voice of an angel. Dolores, you're bleeding. Get into the car. Pat's car had pulled up beside me, and Arn had rolled down the window. <laughs> okay, you talked me into it. I limped to the car, and I fell into the back seat, exhausted. Then it hit me. I only had one mile to go, and I had quit. That 20-mile run represented my last opportunity to prove to myself that I could complete that 26.2-mile distance. I didn't do it. What now? What if I couldn't complete the marathon? Yes, I understand tedious, and I understand the power of not giving up. 
Yes, I lost that battle. But despite the fear and anguish I felt at not completing that first 20 mile training run, I showed up to my first marathon and I finished it. That first marathon, however, put me on a path that challenged me beyond anything I could have imagined. But I overcame those challenges and achieved success far beyond my wildest dreams. To quote myself from my book, Breaking Barriers, no matter what life throws at you at any moment, and no matter what age you happen to be, there is a truth that cannot be disputed. Dreams really do come true. If it happened to me, it can happen to you. Let's break barriers together and shatter the